Look at this. I got a real Serena right here. What's up, Whoopers? It's Vice here. And today we're going to look at Serena EX, new card in Paradox Rift. It's got some pretty good stats down the board. 310 HP is around about standard for a Stage 2 Pokemon. Maybe on the on the lower end of things, but 310 is still nothing to scoff at. Two retreat costs, not bad. Metal Weakness is a bit iffy at the moment because of Golden Go, but that deck is not super duper competitive as it turns out so just one to be mindful of what we're going to look at in particular though is the attack ice cool soul so it says put damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon until its remaining hp is 30 so that attack is really interesting for one energy you could bring a really high hp pokemon all the way down to 30 hp and then uh, you know the the challenge of this pokemon is trying to find cheeky ways to exploit that 30 HP range that you put your opponent's Pokemon into. So there are a lot of different ideas out there. Uh, ones that experiment with, let's say, Brute Bonnet plus uh, Radiant Hisuian Sneasler to get the extra 30 onto opposing Pokemon, or um, ideas that focus on manipulating the, the damage in play. You can use things like uh, Hisuian Braviary. We're going to go for a strategy that is found in Paradox Rift itself as well we're looking at the new vanillux and it's got a very interesting ability kind of reminiscent of panic mask but not quite the same the ability says your opponent's pokemon that have 40 hp or less remaining can't attack so we're looking at a lock deck so you're basically using radiant serena to put your opponent's pokemon all the way down to 30 hp remaining and then the frigid room ability to lock your opponents out completely right from being able to attack once they're in that hp range and so it, it it's got a very interesting approach to the game very um interesting strategy for sure it's different to panic mask because what panic mask does if i can remember correctly is it prevents damage received from pokemon that are at that hp range but otherwise the pokemon are allowed to attack if they use escape rope or boss's orders they can just get around the Pokemon with Panic Mask, and then they can attack something else. But Frigid Room says that the Pokemon can't attack at all. So the idea, or one of your win conditions, could be put all of your opponent's Pokemon down to 30 HP or less remaining, and then they can't attack, and then the game's over, because they, all they can do at that point is draw past till they lose, or find a way to heal, or find a way to give their Pokemon more HP. And so one of the ways that you can give your Pokemon more HP in the format is Ancient Booster Capsule. So you might see that in the old Roaring Moon deck, which is pretty popular at the moment. So one of the things that I've included in my list is just this Tool Jammer. I, I've been experimenting with one, with two, at the moment, I've only got room for one because I'm trying to work in some more consistency cards. The stack is very much a work in progress, and I invite you to, to try some of these ideas out for yourself. We've got the Tool Jammer in here, and the reason is so that when you're up against Roaring Moon, they can't just put a, a, a Ancient Booster Capsule down and knock out your Serena EX. The Tool Jammer makes it so... The booster capsule doesn't give them any extra HP at all. Now, a really interesting and kind of funny um, thing that you can do in that matchup, right, is if at some point you don't have Tool Jammer equipped and you put a... Or, or even if they're sitting on the bench with the Ancient Booster Capsule, so they're sitting at 290 HP with a Roaring Moon, you can use Ice Cool Soul onto that Roaring Moon it goes down to 30 HP remaining, and then the minute that Roaring Moon comes to the active, it gets knocked out because the capsule gets turned off. Suddenly, they have 260 damage on themselves. They get knocked out. Pretty interesting. So, uh, in amongst all, all of the other cards that we've got here and the ideas that are at play is we're using Technical Machine Evolution. So, uh, a much hyped and uh, exciting card from the new set. It gives one of your Pokemon the ability to use this attack, Evolution. So choose two of your bench Pokemon, and for each of those, search your deck for a Pokemon that evolves from it, and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it, and then shuffle your deck. So uh, basically using your turn to evolve two of your Pokemon once, and it's pretty good. So what I've done to, to make it a worthwhile TM is we've got a Vanillish, we've got a Stainy, and we've got a Bibarel. 
So ideally, on your turn two, uh, and ideally you know the contents of your deck, you've got three pretty good targets for for TM Evolution. Of course, we also have the Braviary. You could target your your brave get your Braviary out as well. Probably not required. Braviary comes in at the end of the game. So one of your potential win conditions is take six prizes in one go, which is what Braviary can do for you. Um, one, of, one of the issues is that you might start uh, getting towards the end of the game, but maybe you've got less cards left in deck, so your opponent can win faster than you. Um, or not faster than you, but they'll win because they've got more cards remaining in deck. So Braviary creates a scenario where you can knock out all of the Pokemon that are required to, to finish the game out. Um, it's important to be able to knock them all out at the same time because the minute that you knock something out, you have to be prepared for a new Pokemon to replace it and be able to attack because you can't really affect uh, the amount of HP on that on the new Pokemon that comes out. And in matchups like Lost Zone Box or let's say Entei with, with Iron Valiant or what have you, these big basic decks that are, uh, that are new in the new set, uh, even Roaring Moon itself, if you... Uh, create a bench space for them. There is a lot that these decks can do with it. So you're not really trying to take KOs. And in the game that I'll show you, you'll you'll see my approach uh, by way of just trying not to take any KOs and uh, the outcome that you can engineer as a result. So look, uh, I do have a game coming up with this list. I will show you very quickly though. I've also been testing this idea out as well. It is um, a... Japanese is this is this the right one yeah this is a, a Japanese list except I'm not sure if it ran Minior I think Minior was a change that I made maybe I cut uh, an ultra ball for the Minior but this is based on a top eight city league list from Japan and you can see the same ideas right you got four three on the Sereno and then it starts getting a little different um, you got only the one one Vanillux you've got Rotom here and of course if you're using Arvin uh, you can go for Forest Seal Stone. Nice combo at the beginning of the game. And it also runs Panic Mask as well. So Panic Mask can be a very good option for the deck as well. You're running all the Arvin. So, um, you know, in a pinch, Panic Mask can be very useful uh, while you're trying to set up your your Vanillax on the bench. Or even in this type of deck where they don't necessarily rely on Vanillax. It's there and it's often going to be... A, uh, a strategy that you can play through, but what this deck is able to do is just put the, the Panic Mask on and then focus on just locking them out via via that card. So um, it's a little... So uh, the way I would look at it is is the lock isn't as absolute as when Vanillax is in play, when you've got the, the Panic Mask at the ready, but it is very easy to get into play and very easy to just... Put it straight on to your Serena, and then suddenly, you know, that Pokemon is is fine. Like you can you can just go play the rest of the game, no worries. At least when it comes to uh, the the Pokemon that you've put the damage counters onto. So, um, but in any case, uh, I've got a game coming up for you. If you enjoy seeing game uh, seeing Pokemon decks that are a little bit different to the the tier one usual suspects running around consider hitting me with a subscription here on YouTube or even follow me on Twitch where I'm live five nights a week. So thanks all for being here. I will see you all in the next live stream or video. So until then, take care. Goodbye and enjoy. Peace. What I'm trying to say with all... Oh, yeah, we're going first, so it's fine. What I'm trying to say with all of this is I think that the really important thing at the end of it all is... Uh, community and feeling like there's a place for all of you to return to and and sort of have a good time and enjoy yourselves so yeah just uh, a random thought for today or in general um, I'm gonna take Bidoof here we got a little bit of everything right what could possibly go wrong what could go wrong at worst, um, they're going to rope and knock something out, right? So what do we promote in that case? Probably Bidoof. 
It's probably fine. At best, they do nothing here. So, Roaring Moon? Roaring Moon lost zone box? That'd be alright. See how we go. Now, had we gone first... Uh, sorry, second. We would have got Irida, and we would have filled our bench. Hmm. And we would have been able to finish the turn with Cleffa. So, going second is probably better. It's good to see you back in stream, uh, Craigie, you legend. Remember, you can always keep us up to date with what's going on in uh, in the Discord. And I know you're in there. But yeah, if you're busy, that's okay too. Hey, good morning, Phil. Good morning to you. Happy Monday. How are you? I got something special to open up on stream as well. We got a blister. Very cool. Alright, what are we going to do? Let's Artisan first. We want... Uh, do I want Manaphy? Probably. You never know. They, they probably have the water energy. Should I just, like, chill? I think I should. Did I spit on my mic? Alright, none of you saw that, okay? Erase it from the tapes. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think I just take it slow. We just do this, and then we cleffer, and then we chill. Right? Because we got the goods. As long as they don't hit 7 in... Uh, as long as they don't hit 10, I mean, in the loss zone and start destroying us with Sable, I am happy. You bought two boosters and you got a Series 3 pack on the weekend, Dugong? Roaring Moon, FA Norman, and two Sable. Wow. There you go. Um, anyway, anyway, to, to continue my previous thoughts, um, uh, more than, <laughs> it's funny, more than trying to bring you the most cutting edge deck lists, more than trying to, like, feed you <laughs> league challenge winning strategies and, and cup winning strategies and whatnot, because there are, there are players that are, are far more adept at that, uh, I just got to try and curate the type of community that people want to be part of, quite simply here. That's all I got to do. Let's send up the Bidoof. We got another Bidoof where that came from, so it's fine. This also lets us, like, make a bit of space. So, I really want them to fill out the bench and be like, uh-oh, I got nothing left. I don't know, this matchup's, like, kind of weird. You could just start going for it with Serena, right? We're gonna be able to attack, and we could we could angle for the Vanillax lock. Hey, Guantaraj. Bibs isn't so important. Eh. Yeah, true, true. You can sort of just like play the hand out. Yeah, that's true. I hadn't thought about it that way. All right, so we want to start. Angling for Vanillax. Arvin's not going to give it to us. So we got this, so we're attacking We're attacking for sure, right? Um, I don't know if a second Boon Suite is good, but we're going to put it down. We're going to do Artisan. And we're going to take Jirachi now, because we're, we're worried about uh, Sableye, right? They definitely... They've got the Psychic Energy, so it's a fair assumption that we'll need Jirachi in the near future. Then, you know, like, I could just do this over a couple of turns, right? I could Arvin, and then and then just Ice Cool Soul. Right, just Arvin for the Ultra Ball, right? 
Um, yeah. Arvin for, for Ultra Ball. Maybe Jammer. There's also... Well, no, no, no. We'll just take this. So I could go Vanillish here as well, instead of just, like, going for the rare candy. Um, in which case... Uh, okay. No, we'll just, we'll just keep that then. Um, alright, so I, I think I like going for Vanillish, because it, it means that we can just Iono next turn. So I'll go Vanillish. And, okay, maybe they have boss, but... Um, I mean, they could also boss Jirachi. Like, they've got to figure out what, what's more important for them, right? Mm. And I think the strat is not to attack the Cram. You want to Ice Cool Soul stuff that's on the bench. So that they can't just switch card it out. You want to make it tough for them to, to use switch card on the right Pokemon. Right? And it's not like we need to target these three Pokemon with Ice Cool Soul. We just want to target this, this, and this. Whatever this ends up being. So. Ends up being a, a, a tricky little dance they've got to do. We'll send up the Cleffa. Free retreat. Not bad. They probably don't want to attack this. But if they do, that's good for us, because it frees up a bench space. I did end up cutting uh, Professor Turo. But... Maybe I need it again. Is one, one Panic Mask worth? Yeah, I think so. I think it is. I think it is. Ooh, GG's. We got GG's on board. We don't have to worry about Roaring Moon. We just got to go boom, boom. And then we're done. The hard part is we've got to get through their switch carts. And they've shown zero so far. Yeah, they bench locked themselves. See, this is... So, I was also toying with... Um, uh... What is it called? Um, what was I toying with? Um, more while in the deck. All right, this super rod is quite precious to us. We don't want to lose it. And so, with that being said, let's grab a second vanillite, and we've got rufflet for later too. But let's not. Let's not reveal ourselves so so quickly. Hit them with the iron room. All right, set them back to four. Not too much to write home about in this hand. A little unfortunate. Just going to attach an energy to the boon suite, and we'll use ice cool soul again, and we're going to get the the cram on the bench again. Horn more wild to be huge additions. Completely swings the Guardi matchup. Could be hectic. Serena kind of plays the same way, yeah. Of course, like the the good decks are going to um, have a an out a lot of the time. So it's whether you're resilient enough to survive. Whatever that is, whether it's Collapse Stadium or Churro or whatever. Gauntourage, the Steelix Screamtail you were excited about ran into some problems. But you like it anyway. That's the way. I mean, every, every deck out there that's not Roaring Moon, Charizard, Chen Pao, Iron Hands, whatever. Every deck out there has got some problem that it has to overcome, right? So... Okay. Hello. Wait. Uh, yes. We just do that. Boomba. 
Now, I think... I think I just chill out. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe I do I don't know. I don't know. I have a think. I do really want to set up the, the second Serena before too long. Hmm. We can we can play one more. And we got a couple more Iono to see us out till the end of the game, right? Okay. Counter catcher, not required here. We just go Ice School Soul. Yes. We got Irida for next turn too, which is quite nice. Quite nice. Now, can I figure out why the game is not giving me any audio? It's very annoying. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. But I really like the sound effects. The other win con. Mm-mm. Because then we just start putting everything on 30 HP remaining. And then we blitz them with the Braviary. Alright, what have you got? Because you also need a way to attack the Vanillax. So what are you doing here? Alright, there's a switch cart. Just don't worry about it, Dugong. Don't, don't think about it too much. Don't think about it too much. They'll play the cards. See, let them go. No worries. No worries. It's interesting that Manaphy is what they're going for here. They don't know that. You know that and I know that, but they don't know that. I could also just start attacking to, you know, just start attacking. So we can be chill about it, right? We can be chill. I think I like counter catcher and we'll bring up the mana fee. All right, so they they can't again. They can't easily counter uh, uh, heal the the damage required, right? And we just got to survive this over and over. So let's play the Irida, and we'll grab Serena and a rare candy. Okay, very nice. We like that. I'm not putting anything on the bench just yet. We're just gonna chill. Um. And so what what happens at worst? They knock out this and this. That is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Did I make a mistake? Don't know. But oh I I guess we don't care about Jirachi though. We actually don't care about Jirachi now because they can't get Sableye into play. So yeah, knock out Jirachi, I don't care. Do it. They're going to proactively try and basically deal with the, the board state using the Pokemon that they've got, right? So, so we'll see. We'll see how it works. Hey, Kajuvius, what's going on? How are you? Alright, what have you got? We've used one cart. And that's it. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to fight through the switch carts. The switch carts. So they, they have. Three more attacks this game, basically. If everything goes our way, they can attack three more times. They could also, like, start attacking with Confei or whatever, but that that's not likely. Not likely to occur. Um. Alright, a moment of reprieve. We were able to survive. So, do we want to try and engineer some urgency by playing the Rufflet down? 
or is it too early for that? That's the next question. Because we go one, we can evolve two, three. We don't have to do it yet. So we'll just go Ice Cool Soul. And we want to continue hitting Pokemon that are on the bench. See, they're going to find it hard to retreat these Pokemon too. Because they don't want to they don't want to use their Switch Carts on them. Roaring Moon had a guaranteed win against it. Yeah, Roaring Moon is a bit... It's a bit tricky, for sure. Um, I think... Lost Zone Roaring Moon is a little easier for us to deal with. Hmm. Have I tried Torterra with the new set? Have I tried Torterra? No, I haven't. Let's put some time into it, maybe tonight. Maybe we can. So this is the turn where I want to start figuring out if I want to, like, reveal the Rufflet. Because this is still, like, a threat to my bench. I don't think that revealing the Rufflet is a good idea, huh? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what's in the deck. Waiting on some cards. We want to see Arvin. Basically. Cape and Countercatcher in Torterra. Yeah. For sure. Um, 209 HP is hectic. And, like, you could just do it at the end of the game, right? When you've only got one prize left. Okay, I'm gonna... I'll do it like this. Next turn is the turn where I really want to bench Rufflet. But I may not be able to. Mm. I'm very afraid of them coming in with the Greninja. Okay. They're prepping for it. Uh-oh. I mean, that's fine, right? We're, we're not going to win until we take six prizes anyway. So, like, we just wait for the Greninja to knock out the Cleffa and be like... All right, what up? But then it starts getting really scary because they've only got one prize left to take at that point. Mm. We've still not seen the switch cards. Dang, switch card is such an annoying card. <laughs> it's so ubiquitous. Yes, the the Braviary places damage counters, so it just goes around the mana fee. We just don't care about it. Hmm. All right, being bench locked is kind of rad. Let's use high school soul. Dynatree, yeah, I just feel like it gets replaced every single time. Like it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't stick. It needs to be something stickier than that, like some bench Pokemon that just prevents healing. It's the only way. If you could prevent healing with something that's like more difficult to remove, then yeah, I'd be down. Hmm. We're also kind of just whittling them down. There's a world where, like, they don't um, get this last KO very easily. If we're able to, like, draw into the, the like, rare candy Vanillox. You know, they go boom, boom. And then what? 
Uh, this is going to be a close game. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be close. For sure. Yeah. Deck outs. Deck out could be a thing. I really want to Iono. Because the goods that we need are in the deck somewhere. You know? I'm going to place this energy to prep to retreat when the time comes. Artisan can always get us the Rufflet as needed. I really just want to evolve our Vanillite into a Vanillux to prevent them from uh, having like a, an easy way to take that KO at the end of the game. What are you talking about, Snakey? What are you talking about? This deck's legit. Uh, by my own admission, uh, I don't feel terribly good about Serena going into something like a regional championship unless you think you've really busted the deck. Iron Valiant and Entei, Pokey Nate. Pretty strong contender, for sure. Alright, do they have it? Do they have the switch cart, or did they did they just mess up? Did they mess up? Hmm. Uh, we get to continue to be really weird and annoying, and we could just go boss something, and then just chill, and be like, "Well, you got you you used up a, an energy. Now you gotta now you gotta try it again." And you go try it again. All right, fella, try again. <laughs> yeah, I'm Valiant. Pretty strong. I'm Valiant and Tay. Why not, right? Place some damage counters, give them the business. I think Jolty on VMAX getting a look in again is pretty interesting too. Alright, let's go Arvin. We've got the... <gasps> Uh-oh. No Ultra Ball? This is where I'd put my Ultra Ball if I had one. Dang. That's spooky. Uh oh. It's alright. We're thinning the deck. Okay? Thinning the deck. Don't don't despair. Alright, let's not. Alright. Don't panic. Okay? Alright, they're doing it again. So they really they're all in on this on this Greninja. They're all in on it. It's very tempting just to knock out the Greninja. And be like, okay, well, how do you win now? Uh, they probably, they probably then just slam a Sableye and go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Somehow, yeah. Same diff, right? Whether we allow Sableye to be in play or not. So, all right, let's see. I have Jirachi for Sableye. <gasps> True! Oh, yeah. But they might have, like, Rod or something. And we've seen two Rods. How many Rods does Lost Zone Box use? <gasps> Three? Or we could have just knocked out the Greninja and been like, what up? Hmm. Still... How many times can they support attacking with the Greninja this way, you know? Like, what do you do? You knock out this, and then what? Like this? Probably. You probably just leave the Cleffa, right? And it's like, okay, well, you've done that. Now I'm just going to put, like, Manaphy down. For a start. I don't know. Yeah. Bro. 
So we want Manaphy in play probably, right? Because this Cleffer is always going to be the thing that loses us the game anyway. Or do we put the Braviary down? Let's have a think. We like Manaphy, we like Jirachi. We like Manaphy more, right? What I really like is just evolve. Right? That's what I would really like. But I think what we have to do is retreat to Serena. We've got an energy to work with. So that's fine. What's win, win con? Probably just deck them out. Do I want Manaphy in play? Rod back Jirachi, get back with Artisan, KO the active, and heal. I feel like they should be completely out of ways to attack with Gre Greninja at this point. Because we've seen so many water energies, right? Three water energies. All the rods. Hmm. I'm taking my time because I'm trying to think. I mean, you are right. Just to, like, knock out the Greninja might be a bit safer, right, at this stage. Rod back, knock out, but then they can attack with Cram? I don't know. Like, what can they do to attack with Greninja again? I feel like I want to risk it. One, two... I can still think about it. I'm not going to put any energy back. Is that a mistake? Hey, Patchy. Fresh Sableye wins. Not if I have Jirachi in play. Okay, I'm going to put Manaphy in play. Let's go for deck out. Okay, this caps at 90 damage. Come on, Patchy. How are you? What have you been playing lately? It's been a little while since we talked. Yeah, I thought about making a new YouTube video that was like the, the one that, uh, you know, I... We, we got to know each other because I, I made a YouTube video that was a bit like yours. Or very much your... Uh, basically yours, but like updated two years later. Uh, you've been on Yu-Gi-Oh! Whoa! Whoa! See, here's the thing. Greninja needs three energies to do 90 damage to the active. If I put Jirachi in play, they can use Sableye to do 120 damage to the active. Right? The thing with Jirachi is it doesn't protect all of your Pokemon, just your bench. Your active Pokemon still gets not, uh, receives damage. So, Jirachi doesn't shut them out, but it stops them from using their damage counters the way they want. 